Thank you. I'm so excited to talk to y'all. I love the show. So good. I think the people are going to be raving about it and having discourse and conversation about it. So bravo to y'all. Grantham, I'll start with you. You play Talcott Garland, a.k.a. Tal, um, an esteemed law professor on a search for answers to his father's death. Your father, a.k.a. the judge, is played by Force Whitaker. So I have to ask you, I mean, I'm sure you've gotten this question a lot today. But what was he like as an on-screen dad and scene partner? Uh, it was a gift. Because, like, for the for the first couple of weeks, I was so scared. So I just be like, oh, Mr. Whitaker, is this okay? He's like, it's forced. I was like, oh, uh, Mr. Whitaker, is this okay? I was saying, sir. But like, he was like, it's all right. Like, everything's fine. Because I was nervous. But I also really tapped into that with Tal because he's so reverential of his father. They don't call their father dad. They call him the judge. So it, it really helped, especially in our scenes, like my own, like, I want to get this right for him. I want to I want to be on my best for Forrest, but also Tal wants the same thing for his dad. Mm -hmm. So I think it influenced a lot of our scenes where if you look at me, the the love in my eyes, that's that's mine for the icon that he is. But that's also Tal's looking at, the, at his father. Wow. I love it. You two on screen. It felt like a real father and son situation, the dialogue, the chemistry. So bravo to you both. Paulina, you play Kimmer Garland and she's a badass. OK, let's just put that out there. She look, she's the wife of Talcott. But not only that, she's a lawyer, she's a mother, she's currently in talks um, of being nominated for federal judiciary by the president of the United States, need I say more, but she has some secrets too. And I want to ask you, as a filmmaker and an actress, how did you approach this role? Oh, that's a, that's a great question. I think, okay, let me split it up into two. As a filmmaker, how do I approach this role? I think my experience as a filmmaker doesn't necessarily help me as an actor when I'm on set. Okay. It, because it, as a filmmaker, you're kind of in your brain a little bit more and you're in your, you know, why are we doing this shot here? Where is the camera? And you start to become hyper aware of like the things a filmmaker would be aware of. So it's not really helpful on set, but it is helpful for me in breaking down the script ahead of time when I'm preparing for the role. Um, Cause I can see it in ways that like, oh, you know, how would I film this? And thinking about ways that I might look at the story differently than I would as an actor. Um, as an actor, you know, when you're on set, you wanna be in the moment. And so that's when I kind of leave the filmmaker of me out of it. And I just show up, be present and be one with whoever I'm performing with. Well, you were definitely one and you were centered with who you were. You killed it. Okay. Both of y'all killed it. Grantham. Okay. I have to ask you, because one of my favorite parts of this show is the music, the hip hop. Listen, the nineties hip hop, there were a lot of hip hop references throughout the series. One of my favorites was I stand alone in a four cornered room, staring at candles from Scarface. That was my favorite. Did you have a favorite and did you play a part in like, some of the musical choices that were seen or heard throughout the series. A lot of the, a lot of the time, Sherman would send me a text, and mm -hmm. I'd be like, "Oh, it's the show." What's he texting me about? He'd be like, "You ever listen to Big L?" Like, like just like, like, oh, like what do you think? You do know that Big Pun song? Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the good thing is, growing up, I'm an East Coast rap fan. That's just the lyrics that I have in my head when I'm walking down the street. If I'm not actually listening to something, I'm probably going over like a song in my head. So right. that's where me and Tao really align. And it's funny that like you bring it up because it's one of those things that like it helped me center myself every day. Mm -hmm. It would be like, oh, I'll put my Tao playlist on. And then like, you know, sometimes I'm sitting in my chair mm -hmm. and I'd be having the conversation, but in the other ear, I'm listening to And like I'm here, but I'm also here. And it yeah. would just it would help me channel like, okay, Tao uses music to like cope mm. with all the things that are going on in his life right now. And how can I use that to help tap into him? Right. Right. Absolutely. Okay, before I let you go. Paulina or Grantham or both three words that describe the emperor of Ocean Park. Honor, duty, justice. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you have it, mic drop. Thank you both. Love your work. So excited about this series. I can't wait for people to dive into it. It's so good.
Bravo. Thank you so much.